Executive producer Kiki Wolfkill was recently interviewed about the Halo TV show season two, and there is a, a little bit of a pain to watching this. Was there humility, regret, realization, or insight with what we saw here in season two so far? Well, the host admitted that she had actually been there for every shot filmed in season one and season two and this alone raises some red flags okay she was the executive producer on halo 4 halo ncc and now the halo tv show season one and season two and has left 343 in 2023 but clearly is still a part of the ip holder so i think she's like technically a part of microsoft now but i gotta preface this video before we dig into the interview guys please don't send her any hate be respectful. It's more so about the culture and not so much about digging into an individual. But I think it's pretty clear that this individual does want Chief to be human. I mean, this is the same thing that she's been saying since 2012, I think, 2011, since Halo 4 came out. And I think Halo 4 was kind of well done on some fronts, but ultimately the narrative, the story, the plot was a damn disaster. And I know people are celebrating Halo 4 now, but anyway, I digress. What was said in this interview that really kind of ticked off so many people. Was it a creative risk to take Chief out of the armor for the better part of three episodes? Yeah, I mean, I, I will say that, um, you know, that was something we talked a lot about. And I had a lot of concern around the Spartans and Chief in particular being out of the armor for so long. That said, part of what's so important to tell in this season is what is John's relationship to the Master Chief? Okay, I'm going to interrupt this interview real quick and just say it's hard to listen to because it seems like she and other people leading the show knew that this was a mistake, taking Chief out of his armor even more despite all the criticism in season one and doubling down on this human chief. And in some ways, the armor is a representation of the Master Chief. And so what I think we've seen mm -hmm. up through episode seven is John reconciling who is the master chief to him? We understand who it is to the UNSC. We now understand what it is to Ackerson. And what we wanted was for John to reclaim that armor and reclaim who the master chief is. It's like they're willing to sacrifice anything as long as to make him relatable or human. Even though this person is not someone I want to meet or hang out with, this character is unlikable from bottom to top. While it felt... Uh, risky to keep the armor off. And there are so many tactical challenges in going into battle with saying Healy without armor. Yeah. And there's that part of you that just wants to see them kick ass in their armor. It's right there. That's, <laughs> that's what I want to talk about. It's like they knew what the right decision was, but they decided to go with some kind of left field experiment idea instead. I want to agree and say, yes, Spartans are magnificent without their armor on, but Spartan who? There's no Spartan action really in this show whatsoever. On the flip side, I loved seeing them kick ass without their armor because yeah. you forget how extraordinary they are you know, outside of the armor with the augmented bodies and, and, and you know, decades of, of, of warfare. Um, I loved seeing that part of them. But ultimately, it's about Chief reclaiming who the Master Chief is and reminding us that he is the Master Chief. And so... And I have to wonder how many more seasons are they going to waste on this mind-numbingly plotline where Master Chief is having this split personality existential crisis. Like, we get that he has had some issues understanding who he is, and I think, if well done, that could have been really magnificent, but clearly, this Chief, this person, I do not like. He is snooty, arrogant, a hypocrite, emotional, and acts like a child, and acts out, and is angry, and sad, and is all over the place to the point where every other character, I mean, I'm sure children, I mean, Kessler is more emotionally matured than this grown man. I mean, this is not someone that I want to explore. You know, I, I love that moment of him coming back to his armor. I love that moment of he and Kai um, in front of Vanek's armor. Um, I thought I was done crying about Vanek, <laughs> but I was not. Yeah. Um, I will say the funeral scene was well done, but guys, what we have here is a Halo fan, undoubtedly. I know Kiki Wolfkill loves Halo, but it seems like there is nothing 
going to get in the way of her vision and making Master Chief into a human character when really he is not likable in his current state. So really, it feels like anything is willing to play second fiddle and any part of Halo's story is going to be exploited and violated just to get this point across that these people are real people. But this is clearly a vision that will not work if the base writing is not well done, if the characters are not enjoyable. There was a lot of risk here and I like risk. I like it. You know, Halo Reach was a risk. Halo 3 ODST was a risk. Halo Legends was a risk, right? But I feel like I'm getting PTSD because this is exactly what I saw with Halo 4 and Halo 5 and I don't care how many people disagree with me. I don't like those games because those games are the same kind of 343 mentality which is screw Bungie, screw what Halo is. This is our legacy and our vision. We don't give a fuck about what Halo actually is and so that's what frustrates me because because what was the conclusive ending? Halo got burnt out basically barely was able to make it to the finish line of Halo Infinite, which was kind of resembling what we wanted Halo to be all along since Bungie left. And now I feel like the same thing is going to happen. By Season 5 or Season 6, they will finally realize that they've been doing this all wrong, all the talent will leave, and then at the end we will get a season with a low budget that kind of resembles what we wanted the Halo TV show to be. They've already learned this lesson, and they're learning it again, and I am... I just want to claw my eyes out. Will they learn? I don't think so. I'm sure Chief is going to have his helmet off most of season three and season four because it's probably going to get greenlit. I mean, this is the most popular show on Paramount Plus. The executives said themselves that it's a very franchisable series for sure. It's like no dub, but they've completely lost the point of why it's successful. And it isn't because of their bastardized version of it. It's because of the characters and the story and the music. That's what's carrying this entire thing and they want to get away from it so badly, why don't you just make an entirely new show? Because the bar for modern television is clearly in hell. You obviously want to tell a completely different story that has nothing to do with Halo. Then just go do that. It seems like Spartan 3s have been watered down as well with most of this story here. This isn't really Halo. This is like a watered down fanfic version of it, right? And I think it's mostly frustrating because of how little the Halo games have received in support and love for the past eight years, which this show is built on. And they have completely disrespected the legacy of it, completely disrespected just modern television with a $90 million budget. It makes me angry and annoyed because 343 has almost always been about carrying on their vision and making an imprint of what they think Halo should be. What is that legacy again? What is 343's legacy on Halo? Because it didn't really work out very well. And here it feels like the exact same story is being retold where they're not listening to Halo fans and they're experimenting, they're playing with a massive budget. And I just don't see the point of it. Halo needs a W so bad and this is what they choose to do with a big potential W. Did I? I'm getting so salty, but I gotta say, to conclude, no, I don't think Kiki Wolfkill is solely responsible for this series being bad. She might actually be responsible for a lot of good things, right? I will just say that there needs to be more checks and balances in creating this story and moving forward because I'm assuming with a 94% view review score because that's apparently these 17 people, fuck everyone else, these 17 people, that's the only opinion that matters because they're critics and they're oh, 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 drinking their fine wines at their hotels, giving a better than everyone else critique, a more insightful critique than anyone else, all right? So, because all of us Halo fans are fucking stupid and we're all biased and stuff and we can't see a good story when there is one. Um... <laughs> Anyway, uh, you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section below, and I'll see you soon. All right, take it easy.